Street Elmo. Elmo's delicious Christmas. It was the day before Christmas and Elmo's kitchen smelled like sugar and cinnamon. That was because Elmo was helping his mommy and Aunt Sue bake big batches of Christmas cookies. Elmo got to make the shapes with cookie cutters and sprinkle on sugar that was glittery white or in bright Christmas colors. Elmo's mummy clicked on the oven light so Elmo could watch the cookies turn golden brown. As soon as they came out of the oven, Elmo reached for some. Wait until they cool and then take just one, Elmo, Mummy said. We have to save the rest for our guests. Elmo nodded, but it seemed to take forever. Now can Elmo pick one? Elmo asked when the cookies were cool. And will you tell everyone that Elmo helped make them? Mummy said that Elmo could tell them himself. This year, he was big enough to hand out the cookies at the family's Christmas party. Elmo smiled and picked out a cookie shaped like a reindeer. Mmm! Yummy! As Elmo's mummy tidied the kitchen, she glanced out the window. Look, Elmo! It's snowing! Oh, boy! Mummy, may Elmo please go outside to play? Elmo wanted to know. Mummy said yes. So Aunt Sue helped Elmo with his coat and boots. And here's a nice warm scarf to tie around your neck, she said. Cozy and warm, Elmo ran down Sesame Street to build a snow monster. He saw footprints his boots made in the new snow. Snow was pretty and white as the sugar Elmo had sprinkled on top of the cookies. Snowflakes drifted down and sparkled on Elmo's hat and scarf. He opened his mouth to catch some on his tongue. All along Sesame Street, Elmo saw his friends getting ready for the holidays. Ernie and Bert were carrying a Christmas tree, and Big Bird was decorating. Harry Monster had dressed up like Santa Claus, and he was collecting toys and food for families who needed help. Meanwhile, the Count counted snowflakes as they fell. One beautiful snowflake, two beautiful snowflakes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So many beautiful snowflakes! Wonderful! Merry Christmas, everybody! Elmo shouted happily. As Elmo passed by Oscar's trash can, he wished his friend Merry Christmas, too. Huff! I hate Christmas, said the fuzzy green grouch. Elmo couldn't believe his ears. Would you please say that again, Oscar? Of course I will! Oscar grumped. I'll say it again and again and again. I hate Christmas. There's all that ho ho hoing and fa la lying. Everyone going around smiling and being cheerful and giving each other presents. This is the worst time of year for grouches. Oh, Oscar! Elmo giggled. There are things about Christmas even a grouch would like. Name one, Oscar said. Elmo thought for a moment. Christmas cookies! Elmo helped bake some! Were they sardine cookies with squishy icing? Oscar asked hopefully. Elmo had to admit they weren't. They were oatmeal and sugar cookies, and some were shaped like candy canes and reindeer. Oscar scowled. Yuck! They sound awful! Elmo forgot all about building snow monsters. Now he had something more important to do. Just wait, Oscar, Elmo said. Elmo will be right back. Elmo is going to find a zillion reasons for Oscar to like Christmas. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, grumbled Oscar, and he disappeared inside his trash can, slamming down the lid. <coughs> Elmo set off. He couldn't find a zillion reasons. He was sure he could find a few. First, Elmo stopped at Big Bird's nest. Elmo told him what he wanted to do. Big Bird said, I've got an idea. Meet me at Oscar's trash can in one hour. Next, Elmo went to see Bert and Ernie, who were trimming their Christmas tree. They said they'd help too. Then Elmo visited the Count and Harry Monster. Everyone agreed to meet at Oscar's trash can. 
Elmo raced home and told Aunt Sue there was something special he wanted to make. This time, she was the one who couldn't believe her ears. That sounds disgusting, Aunt Sue said doubtfully, but she helped Elmo anyway. When everything was ready, Elmo hurried over to Oscar's. His friends were there just as they had promised. Merry Christmas, Oscar! Elmo called as he knocked on the trash can lid. Oscar popped out. I told you, I hate Christmas. Elmo laughed. <laughs> Not for long. Before Oscar could tell everyone to scram, Ernie and Bert handed him a scraggly little Christmas tree. It was decorated with a grouch in mind, with orange peels and bits of raggedy string. Hey, that's not a bad looking Christmas tree, Oscar admitted. See, Oscar, said Elmo, that's one thing to like about Christmas. Big Bird knew something else that could make Oscar change his mind. I like Christmas because it's a time for families to get together, said Big Bird. So, Oscar muttered. So, maybe Grangetta would come and visit if you invited her, suggested Big Bird. Grangetta was Oscar's best and grudgious friend. Hmm, said Oscar. That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Next, it was Harry's turn. I like the holidays because they're about helping others, he said. Today, I collected toys and food for families who need them. Tonight, Grove and I are going to deliver them. Do you have anything to share, Oscar? Oscar frowned. Just a minute, he said, disappearing into his trash can. A few seconds later, he was back. Here, maybe somebody could use this, Oscar said, tossing Harry a brand new red and white striped scarf. Thanks, Oscar, said Harry. Doesn't it feel good to help someone else? Well, it sure feels good to get rid of that scarf. It doesn't have one moth hole in it, Oscar said. But Elmo saw him hiding a little smile. Oscar, Elmo made 12 reasons for you to like Christmas. Elmo added happily. Here are a dozen sardine cookies with squishy icing. Merry Christmas, Oscar. Ha ha ha, the Count laughed. Now there is something else to like about Christmas. Your friends. Let me count them for you. One friend? Two friend? Never mind, Count. I can do it, Oscar said grouchily. Oscar was quiet for a minute. Finally, he turned to Elmo. You are right, Fuzz Face. Christmas isn't so bad after all. He took a bite out of a sardine cookie. And these cookies are disgustingly delicious. Thanks, and Merry Christmas. Then everybody began to sing. And Oscar sang, fa-la-la-la -la -la the loudest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And for more Sesame Street Elmo stories, check out my Sesame Street Elmo playlist. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and happy holidays.